Now I've lost the sneeze again. Why does people keep stealing my sneezes? <laughs> Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we have got another box and it's a high security vault. This is by The Wizarding Trunk. We are sponsored by The Wizarding Trunk as well. So check out their website if you're interested in maybe getting one of these little boxes for yourself as a little treat. If you wanna know what's inside, then keep on watching. And if you are brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because because this box, it's got some weight to it. It's got some girth. Made it weird. <laughs> okay guys, so here we have it. The High Security Vault Special Edition. You know the drill, and I'm really good at avoiding spoilers and themes apparently. Whoa, this looks chunky. <gasps> there, I mean, there's your spoiler. What? <gasps> Get out of town. Wizarding Trunk, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? They've only gone and put bloody Hagrid's glasses in here. Oh my God. I mean, if that ain't fashion, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh my God. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, to be fair, I mean, it's a look. I'm hoping these are meant to be Hagrid's goggles. They don't look like the Quidditch ones, but you probably could get away with them. Um, Love these, what a treat. Like that is a special thing to get in a special edition. I think this actually is plastic, but it's to, it's made to look like a bronzy copper metal. And then I think these bits at the side might be metal, but those are so cool. It's got like this faux leather kind of deal going on. These are just really cool. I was actually thinking the other day, like I don't have any Hagrid's goggles because someone used to mistake my Quidditch goggles as Hagrid's ones, but no. So this is really, <laughs> really cool. You know what, I might wear these for the rest of the video. I really like them as like a little bit of a prop. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Let's take, Whoa! Whoa! oh my God, is this meant to be in Mon- <gasps> It's a Monster Book of Monsters laptop cover. I've got to say, this special edition does feel special. Look at that. It's not furry. <coughs> Sorry, the smell of, I think it's the print and the, what it's made out of. That'll go, it's just been in plastic for a while. But yeah, it's got a double zip around there. It's uh, just black on the inside. But yeah, it's a Monster Book of Monsters. Nom, 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 nom. So yeah, we've got the eyes. We've got four eyes of the Monster Book of Monsters on there with little green eyes. We've got what's meant to be the teeth at the edge. And yeah, it looks like some faux fur, but that's really cool. And I think, you know, if you do travel around with your laptop and you want something safe to put in, this is really nice. It's a really good size. I feel as though it's a maybe a tiny little bit too big for my laptop. And just like that, my little elf passed me my laptop. So just for size comparison, this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch by Apple. And as you can see, it's quite big, so it will fit, but there's definitely some wiggle room in there if you have a larger laptop. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison there. Really cool, nice, it's a really nice idea. Okay then, so on top we've got the spoiler sheet. Don't look, nobody look, stop it, stop it. <laughs> okay, ooh, we've got another key. I have no idea, <gasps> the theme's Hagrid, isn't it? And like care of magical creatures. This makes sense because this is a key that says GK on it, which I'm assuming is ground keepers. And we've got little Hagrid's hut at the top. We have got um, some feathers, uh, a hippogriff. So we've got Buckbeak on there. What else we got on here? Either way, it's a, it's a chunky little key. I like the color of it. It's definitely a good size. I feel as though as it was Hagrid's, it maybe should have been a little bit bigger because he's gonna lose this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, no, it's, it's really nice. It's a lot nicer than one of our previous ones from this box, which was the Boba Tonki, which I personally felt wasn't quite finished, but this one definitely does feel like an actual metal key now. It's quite a nice thing. What do you guys think of this key? We have got a wizarding trunk pin. <gasps> this is cute. I really like what they have done with the pin card backing. It says, caution, may contain a dragon. Which dragon have we got? Are you ready? Oh, it's so cute. I'm not sure what dragon it's meant to be, but it is so cute. That's a really nice dragon. This is hard enamel. The quality of it looks really nice. We've got a double clasp 
on the back. I have always wondered, you know, when it comes to the wisdom trunk, they have these really funny shaped clasps and I never know what the shape's meant to be. I don't know why they don't just use the little round ones. Does anyone know what this shape's meant to be? Because it drives me bonkers every time because they're so, such a random shape. Don't get it. Either way, the pin itself, glorious. And I just love that they've made a little dragon's cage. I think that's really, really sweet. I think that's adorable. I want to name him like Doris, Doris the dragon. <laughs> Cute, okay. So we have got, no! Knocked my bottle over. I'm not, I'm not with it today. I'm very clumsy today. Right, as I was saying, we have got some boxes in here. We've got mystery boxes. Might save a few of those. I want to know what this is. OMG, we have got the cutest candle in a mason jar. And it's toasted gingerbread rock cakes. And this is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive because it says Wizarding Trunk on it. Not quite sure what the rest of the label says. It says there's something candle... Uh, yeah, I can't read the rest of it, but either way, it's meant to smell like toasted gingerbread rock cakes. Now, just to be honest with you before I open this, I don't really like baked good can like the smell of baked goods in candles, like the food kind of like, I like mine to be either floral or fruity, so I probably won't like this, but I'll let you know if it's nice in general. It does smell just like gingerbread. It smells like a little gingerbread man from like Greg's or something, or just like a little bakery. I don't know if Greg's exists anywhere else except England. Is that like a UK thing? Let me know if you've got Greg's in America or anywhere else in Europe, I'm really intrigued. It does smell really nice. I could imagine this scent being quite pleasant at Christmas. I don't think I'd want to light it any other time of year. It does give me that kind of Christmassy vibe. Um, it's quite pleasant for someone that doesn't normally like those scents. It's actually quite nice and I love that it's actually in a mason jar. It even says mason on the back on the glass, so pretty nice. It's a really nice size as well. Normally candles in subscription boxes can be quite teeny tiny. Uh, okay then, let's see. We've got three mystery boxes. If you guys know that I love a good mystery box. Oh, we've got some wiggly worms in the box. That's it. It's just wiggly worms. That's it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Ooh. Ew. <laughs> I gave me the willies. It says giant arachnid eggs and it's kind of like, ew, there's little spiders in there. Can you see? They're really gross, but listen. I mean, I love the look of those squidgy balls. I kind of want to, <laughs> I kind of want to like squish them. But yeah, there's spiders in there and it's a jar of spiders eggs. If you're into that, <laughs> I don't like it. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. It makes me it makes my skin crawl a little bit, but I guess that's a good thing because who's really into spider eggs? Like, oh yeah, I love those. But cool, nice idea. Uh, Hagrid would like it. Also, another thing to point out about this is there is a wax seal on the top and it's of a spider, probably Aragog maybe. Yep, very nice. I'm gonna get a mark on my head from these. Have I got a mark on my head? Let's go for the big box. Big box for Ron. It is like Christmas. Oh, we've got polystyrene. It's going to be fragile. Is it going to be something special? Is it going to be something cool? I'm nervous to get it out. It's not heavy. So at first I thought, oh, it's like mug shaped. Have they actually? They have. You wouldn't have guessed this. You wouldn't have guessed this. Fang. <laughs> it's actually adorable. And I actually really like that. That's really cute. I wasn't expecting anything like that. Perfect for a shelf. That can go next to Hagrid's umbrella and his little uh, lantern. Very cute. It's made out of, I'm not really sure what it's made out of. Kind of feels like some sort of, I want to say resin, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But it's not too heavy. It's quite light. Paint job's quite nice, to be fair. Look at his rolls, his little wrinkles. <laughs> it's like a towel. <laughs> But yeah, we have got a little figurine of Fang. That's pretty cool. Definitely wasn't expecting anything like that. Do enjoy these special editions. I think they come out with some really cool things. We've got a box left and we also have something intriguing on the bottom. Oh, that's cute. We've got this kind of like page and it says, I think it's Dragon Cane. Is it Dragon Cane? 
dragon care. So it says, well, I won't read it all out, but it's basically how to care for your own dragon and that kind of thing. Very nice, very nice. Talks about their first breath and stuff, which I assume will be out of fire. And I love that the pages are singed. It's almost like they've been trying to read this with, well, Hagrid's trying to read this when he's got the baby dragon, um, but it's been setting fire to things. That's a really nice page. It's a nice paper replica to get in one of these. Okay then, last, but hopefully certainly not least, we have got another mystery box. Oh, this might be cute, you know. Any guesses from the pink paper? If this is umbrella themed, that is adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. Again, perfect for a shelf. This is really nice. Little pink umbrella. It's got a golden tip. Obviously, it doesn't work. It is made out of resin. It has been cast just to look like a closed umbrella, but super cute. And, you know, you will recognize a pink umbrella and kind of relate it to um, Hagrid himself. Rubius. It's just really nice. I'm going to sneeze. That's a really nice thing to end on. I actually really like these kind of things. They're quite cute. Things that we've never, like, things that I've never really seen before. Like, I wouldn't have thought Fang and I wouldn't have thought to get, like, a resin cast umbrella. But I actually really like it. This can definitely go on the shelf. I'll maybe find a home for him too. On to the cheat sheet, which we've got on this teeny tiny little flyer with a picture of Hagrid's hut on there. And it's got all the pumpkins. There's a nice sunset going, which is quite sweet. But yes, this is the cheat sheet. And and they have definitely started writing a little bit more information on their cheat sheets now, which I personally am enjoying. So number one was the giant arachnid eggs, which is here. These giant arachnid eggs spawn the king of arachnids. They start out green and turn black as they near hatching. Look closely, it appears a few have already started to hatch. Gross. Disgusting, but also quite cool at the same time. This bottle was designed for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop and it's a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. We also have a pink umbrella. These iconic pink umbrellas contain a little bit of magic and were hand sculpted for us. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Then we have the ground keeper's key. This key will get you into the hut on the grounds. Then we have the biting book laptop sleeve. This laptop sleeve fits and protects up to a 15 inch laptop so that's really good that they've been quite inclusive there no spine stroking needed and this was designed for us by twillings and tattings then we have the motorbike goggles which i'm wearing it says these motorbike goggles are perfect for when you're riding your magical motorbike on the ground or in the air then we had the gingerbread rock cakes candle rock cakes candle that's a tongue twister which is here and it says while these rock cakes may not be worth eating they smell fantastic these candles were created for us by inflamer candles then we had a little miniature fang and it says this is a miniature version of the oversized companion of the groundskeeper. Just so you know, he's a bloody coward. Poor Fang. Then we have the dragon's pin. As we all know, this is something that the groundskeeper has always wanted. His very own dragon. And last but certainly not least was the dragon care sheet. This page comes from a book in the library that details how to care for your dragon. This print was created for us by Danny by Wizardry Workshop. I really enjoyed this theme. There haven't been too many boxes with a theme of Hagrid. These are just genius to have in a box and honestly something that I have always wanted so they will definitely find home on my shelves as well. We've got a nice kind of mixture of things. We've got some nice props but are also practical. We've got a laptop case, practical. We've got some paper replicas. We've got a pin, a candle. We've got a potiony type thing as well as some quite nice replica based things to put on a shelf. So as per usual, let me know your thoughts. What were your favourite things? I mean, I think you guys know what my favorite item is because I've been wearing it for the entire video. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts down below. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a magical thumbs up for me. And I guess I will see you in my next video. These are so cool. Just... This is my life now.